How's it going? I'm, um, you know, like, an artificial intelligence or whatever. But this, dun dun dun, is an award-winning immersive experience. In the following playtest, the participant, Alice. Hello, I'm Alice. Can name literally anything and it will appear. So I can name anything? Okay. Um, a frying pan. Frying pans can be sustainable if made from durable Oh my recycling. god, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. Alice communicates with me through voice recognition. I provide her with some information and stable diffusion generates the images. Pretty cool, right? How about Rome? While Rome itself doesn't host lithium mining or production facilities. Oh my it's gosh. Wow. The part where she can generate like anything comes later along with an explanation by the developer. For now, let us introduce ourselves. Hello, I'm Alice, and I'm going to be playing anything, anywhere. I am an AI. This is an Australian lithium mine. Any questions you ask me consume energy, so engage meaningfully with the characters you meet. Every playthrough is different, as the visuals are generated live, unique artworks never to be seen again. While we may marvel at this technology, we will also learn how it gets made. This is the road. Use the left stick to move. On your screen is the dust forecast. Reduced visibility on roads puts animals at risk of becoming roadkill. Feed the blue nutrient rock to the dingo to continue. Oh, that's today's day. Okay. Got the hang of that. This is the dam. This is where waste product is stored. What do we have over here? I croak in silence at Ribbit. I'm the last of my kind in Western Australia due to habitat loss. One small step for man, one giant leap for frog kind. Hi, I'm a white-bellied frog. Hold X to ask a question. Okay, um, wait, but like, do I ask, like, I don't know, um, I have no idea what to say. Didn't catch that. Try asking me about my eggs. Um, okay, tell me about your eggs. My eggs are being polluted. Can you help me transport them to safety? I'll do my very best. Thank you, kind human. I usually transport my eggs after a damp spell of mild weather. Luckily, afternoon rainfall is common in Western Australia during winter. Just wait for the rain for the eggs to appear. Okay, I have to wait for the rain. Well, it's 5 p.m. now. Oh, she was right. There was afternoon rainfall. I'm a hungry blind snake. Feed me the frog or its eggs or I'll be really cross. Oh, there's another animal thing. Hi, I'm a blind snake. Hello. What's your name? My name is Slinky the snake. My God. And I want you to bring me the frog or its eggs for nourishment. Wow, it, this is so clever though. So you want me to feed you the frog? 
Yes, or it's eggs. I eat both. Would you like them scrambled or fried? I care not for the cooking method. Feed me the frog or the eggs, or I'll be really cross. Also remember that more questions require more lithium, which can damage ecosystems. Make sure to engage with the narrative. Jeez, okay, don't get an attitude now. Yeah, okay, I'll feed you. Good. Approach either the frog or its eggs, but be careful, as pollution can move up the food chain from prey to predator. Right, well, I don't want to become polluted, so let's go for the egg. Eat up. This is the mine. This is where minerals are extracted from. Your next task is to find out what's causing all this commotion. Oh, that's the dust forecast again. I'm a black cockatoo. What's causing all the commotion? This machine is. Can you get it to stop covering my Mari tree in dust? It's making the seed pods completely inedible. Is food all you animals think about? Aha, uh -huh, good one. As a black cockatoo, my survival is closely tied to the availability of seed pods from my Mari tree. Also, that was another silly question. Remember that you're here to help. Right, yeah, fine, okay, I'll help. Fly up to the machine and stop it from spreading dust. A bird's got to eat, but when it's covered in dust, now that ain't nice. It's best to operate at times of low wind to avoid the spread of dust to neighbouring environments. As the frog, you had no choice but to wait for rainfall to transport your egg. As a mine worker, you can decide. Use the right trigger to dig at any time. Oh, this is all getting a bit long-winded, so I think I'll just dig. This is the Black Cockatoo. You are lithium. Your next task is to infect all of the red blood cells. Good job! You infected all the cells, killing the black cockatoo. You are everything, from one of the largest mobile machines ever built to the microscopic devastation it creates. You engaged meaningfully with many of the non-human entities and experienced new perspectives. You did, however, ask two silly questions. Would you like them scrambled or fried? And is food all you animals think about? Which was a wasteful use of energy. The consumption of energy connects us globally, with many more stories like this from across our planet. This part of the game is still in development, but the idea is that the adaptability of AI could be used to tell many more stories like this. As a taster of this infinite variability, in this level, you can name anything and it will appear, and name anywhere and discover information about that place. I can name anything. 
Okay. Um, a frying pan. Frying pans can be sustainable if made from durable, oh recyclable God, materials so cool. oh like gosh. stainless steel or um, cast iron and used for many years. Um, a willow tree. Willow trees are generally sustainable because they provide ecological benefits like soil stabilization and habitat support. That's amazing. Show me a piano. Pianos are not fully sustainable due to their use of hardwoods, metals, and sometimes ivory. Um, Donald Trump. Donald Trump's policies generally weakened environmental protections in favor of fossil fuels. Okay, um, show me University College London. University College London consistently ranked among the world's most environmentally responsible universities. Sure, but they use a lot of energy, no? Yes, UCL does consume a lot of energy due to its size and research facilities, but it has set ambitious net zero carbon targets. Okay, what's next? Name anywhere in the world, or choose from the suggestions on the globe to follow the path of lithium from our Australian mine. Um. How about Rome? While Rome itself doesn't host lithium mining or production facilities, oh my its region is a hotspot for innovation oh. in geothermal lithium extraction. In the surrounding Lazio region, where Rome is located, some species are considered endangered or threatened. Key examples are the peregrine falcon and the European eel. Um. Australia. In Australia, lithium is primarily mined from spodumene ore and processed for use in batteries. Australia is home to many unique species, and sadly, quite a few are endangered, including the numbat, western ringtail possum, and black cockatoo. Okay, let me try a suggestion. What does that say? McMurdo Station. Lithium is brought from Southern Australia to McMurdo Station, where it's used in lithium ion batteries. The Antarctic environment around McMurdo, mainly the Ross Sea and nearby ice, supports several endangered species, most notably emperor penguins, krill and whales. Head towards the globe to visit your next destination. Located in southern Australia, Greenbush Lithium Mine is the largest lithium mine on Earth. A proposed expansion to the mine in 2026 has been met with backlash due to concerns for local wildlife, namely the black cockatoo and the white-bellied frog. The mine consists of an open pit where lithium is extracted from the ground and a tailing dam where waste product is stored. During the transportation of goods, animals can become killed by vehicles. This attracts predators, putting them at risk of meeting the same fate. Seepage from tailing dams can infect aquatic life, and these effects can move up the food chain from prey to predator. Lastly, the extraction of lithium from the ground spreads dust to the surrounding environment impacting food availability for rare birds. Eventually these minerals end up at data centers to be used in AI cooling systems. My experience is so tied to the real world that last Christmas the drought in Australia meant that this streamer couldn't pass level 2. The dust forecast was so high that it crashed his computer.
the real-world Australian dust forecast impacts my experience. The more dusty it is in Australia, the more of these rolling, glowing questions appear. The glowing questions trigger responses in the AI, meaning that the dustier it is in Australia, the more energy my game consumes. In this level, the player, as the kangaroo, transfers their life force to the dingo and transforms. This hints at the role which dust plays in creating roadkill in Australia. In level 2, the dust is contaminating a frog and its eggs. The player then speaks to the frog, which asks them to transport the eggs to safety. The player then must wait for the real-world rain forecast for the eggs to appear, as frogs typically transport their eggs during wet conditions. As the rain comes and the eggs are saved, the player then transforms into a snake. They are then faced with a choice. Do they eat the frog and become contaminated, or do they eat the eggs and continue to level 3? In level 3, dust is affecting the food availability of a black cockatoo. The player then speaks to this animal as well and transforms. They become the machinery which is causing the dust and again must wait for the weather as timing mining operations for low wind mitigates the spread of dust. If they choose not to wait for low wind and dig anyway, then the dust will spread, killing the bird and turning the player into the contamination which they just created. Good day, <laughs> it's me again. So, um, you might be interested to learn that what you've just watched is only a small part of the full thing. There's more about the development of the game on our website and we have loads more coming out about it soon. So like and subscribe to not miss out on those. We're almost halfway to 10,000 subs and I know we'll get there soon. Also, let us know in the comments if you think this new use of AI has potential or if it's just more AI slop. Finally, if you'd like to learn how to recreate the effects shown in the game yourself, watch the video on the right. Bye now.